Start with this, Nikki Haley, the former U.N. ambassador, gave up her bid for the White House, setting up former President Trump as the apparent GOP nominee in a rematch with President Biden. Many expected it to head this way. It looks like it will. And on Capitol Hill, Republican lawmakers, they are lining up behind the former president as President Biden. He's preparing for a State of the Union address and to reignite his campaign. NBC's Alice Barr has the details from Washington. A head-to-head -head Biden Trump rematch is now underway in what will be one of the longest general election campaigns for president in modern history. Former President Trump becoming the presumptive Republican nominee after his sole GOP rival Nikki Haley dropped out today. I said I wanted Americans to have their voices heard. I have done that. I have no regrets. Haley, who served as U.N. ambassador in the Trump administration, congratulated but did not endorse her former boss. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. Mr. Trump on social media saying Haley had gotten trounced and inviting her supporters to join him. President Biden quickly pointing to past Trump comments that anyone who contributed to Haley's campaign would be permanently barred from the MAGA camp. In his own outreach to Haley voters, the president saying, quote, you don't have to agree with me on everything to know MAGA extremism is a threat to this country. On Capitol Hill, holdout GOP lawmakers lining up to endorse former President Trump, most notably the Senate's top Republican Mitch McConnell, who's had a fraught Trump relationship. The only representative who endorsed Haley moving quickly to back Trump. 100%. We got a country to save. The former president in his Super Tuesday victory speech last night taking President Biden head on. As the president prepares for tomorrow night's State of the Union address, a chance to sell his accomplishments to the nation and try to boost his reelection bid. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. So even though Nikki Haley's departure unofficially kicks off the general election campaign, primaries will continue with voters in Georgia heading out to cast ballots next Tuesday. And the president and the former president, they will be campaigning in Georgia this weekend. And Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell today formally endorsed former President Trump's bid to regain the White House. In a statement, McConnell said in part, it is abundantly clear that former President Trump has earned the requisite support of Republican voters to be our nominee for President of the United States. It should come as no surprise that as a nominee, he will have my support, end quote. McConnell is one of the few high-profile Republicans who had held off on endorsing Trump.